Okay, hopefully this will provide a little bit better viewing experience than my last video. Uh, so I'll probably be replacing the last two videos that I posted with this one. Um, this is the uh, meant for the Infinity Q50 Phoenix Radio PX6 Mark 2.1 version, I believe. That's what it is. Um, the PX6 has double the RAM. I got the 64 ROM version. As you'll see here, this is not the screen that comes with it. Uh, I actually had downloaded that uh, from here through CarWeb Guru and was able to customize it to my liking. So the first thing is kind of like a tip or trick for this video um, to make your screen be a little bit more snappy. So um, the first tip is you go in the settings. more settings and then system now I already have my developer options on okay if you have not done that yet you would go ahead and click into about tablet and click on build number until uh, so many times says your says what it says here no need you're already a developer being that I'm already there and once you do that, you'll go into developer options. And you're going to scroll down to the animations part. Okay. This will work on any Android tablet or phone. So if you think your phone's a little slower, just want to make it quicker, more snappy, um, this is what you would do once I find it again. It's window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. They are all set factory at animation scale one point one time I take mine to half point five on all three of these okay this does not mess with anything that'll debug the system all it means is you're just do, reducing the amount of animations therefore freeing up more processing power to do other things now a big compliment to E Sigma and Frank Weselowski, a lot of what I have learned is through them. But one of the things that have been brought up, I don't know uh, which one it was, is the Force 4X MSAA. This does make it more snappy, but for this unit, I don't think it's really necessary. And regardless of the unit, I even tried it with my tablet. When the system restarts, does a full restart, most of the time that won't hold, and you'll have to go in each time and put that on. For me, it's not worth the trouble, at least with a PX6. It's very quick, very snappy, much improvement from at least my PX3. I did have problems with my PX3 out of the box, and that's in an exchange. I'm not going to talk anymore about that. I think I said enough in the other two videos. All right, then something you do not want to do, okay, which I did do, is I'm going to take all of this off. Sorry, I got a bunch of things running in the background. With everything running in the background, you see how quick it is. All right, so um, one of the things, we'll, we'll go back into the settings here. And I got to fix my date time. It says AM for whatever reason every time. Let's do PM. There we go. Hopefully that stays. All right. So, it's in the user settings. Or actually, no, not user settings, I'm sorry. So, there's a couple of things here. You can auto run the Navi. Uh, I don't, I do the auto split screen. I'm gonna explain about the features in a little bit. Um, this is for system information. You have to hold this down. I'm gonna press in the uh, 7890. Okay. All right, when attempting to change this, that's going to be in the UI number and UI style. That will change both this and this, okay, um, to your liking. This, I like this. But I accidentally hit the airbox baud rate. Somewhere along the line, it made it 19.2. And then all of a sudden, I lost functionality. 
in my uh, in my unit. And I'll show you what I mean here. So when I go to in touch, you know, I'm able to do stuff, right? It moves. It does what I needed to do. All right, go into settings, whatever. But same thing here. I can go ahead and use the little knob to change the volume. You see it go from uh, over here. It's changing. Uh, also, the you know this is all working. But when I change that, let me turn back up. I don't want to be too cold in here and mess with the volume. All right, there we go. So let me get this out of the way. But when you when you change this to 19.2, okay, don't ever change it, okay. Uh, save and reboot. I'm gonna see this here. All right. So we're gonna give this a little a second or two to reboot. A couple things I want you to notice or at least one thing I want you to notice. First, this is grayed out. Notice there's no blue illumination. None of this stuff will work. Now this will come up, you hit it, but nothing works. Nothing works, okay? Um, like no temperature, see that's x out, no volume control now, nothing. Also, if you go to InTouch here, Thumbs up, nothing works. See, it's all grayed out. So, never change that for an Infinity Q50 that needs to be back on what it was before. Otherwise, you can have these problems. I couldn't figure out what I did. At first, I noticed that, oh, for the love of God. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like it switched back off. All right, back to system info. I'll hold this down because I'm going to change it back. First, I noticed one of these was 19.2 and the other one was at 13.84. And I didn't know, I can't remember which one. So I'm like, oh, I was trying to troubleshoot. I couldn't figure out what I, what happened. I didn't realize I accidentally hit something. And, and I'm like, well, those don't match. Let me match them up. And I put it down to 19.2 and then nothing worked. So these always need to be at 38,400. I'm going to save and reboot that. You got to be really careful. If you don't know what you're doing, you could really have a lot of problems later and you'll be calling their tech support to fix, you know, or emailing them to fix that. But if you'll notice already, as soon as I did that, even though it's not restarted, it's illuminated blue. I love that flat screen. You can actually replace that if you wanted. I like that for now. If I see a better picture, I may replace it, but I really like that. I think it looks sharp. All right, so it's just still loading up. Notice now this stuff is all working beautifully. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's take this out of the way. Go back to in touch. And things are working again. Everything is nice. Beautiful. Okay, so that's just a tip or trick. One way to make it quicker and one thing to avoid. Don't do, don't be me and accidentally hit something or play around too much in that screen unless you really know what you're doing okay hope you enjoy the video again my name is Jeff Sheridan a big shout out to uh, E Sigma and Frank Weselowski and um, uh, for the next video I'll uh, be some tips and tricks